Hi there folks, in this lesson we're going to set up C++ on your Mac. I'm going to actually show you on a Mac with an Apple Silicon with the M1 processor, but these directions will work regardless if you have an older Intel-based Mac or for future generations. So with that said, hope you're ready to go. Let's go ahead and begin. Alrighty folks, let's go ahead and set up a C++ compiler on your Mac. And what we're going to do is just go ahead and see if we have a compiler available. So go ahead to open a terminal window like this, type in clang++, plus plus, and if you see a message like this, this means you already have clang installed. And it might be useful to see what version you have. Anything past version 5 or so will do the trick for most of these lessons. We'll see that we have version 12 here, which is awesome. So in this sense, you're good to go here. So. If you don't have Clang++ though, what you're typically going to want to do on Mac is install Xcode, which will bring in an IDE and the Clang compiler for you. It might be more than you need, but Xcode is a good editor to use. I'm going to show you how to run C++ programs, both on the command line and with Clang here. So in order to install Xcode, you just type this in the terminal, and this will download Xcode and the Clang compiler. I'll just hit enter and, well, I already have this installed, so it's not going to make a difference here. So at this point, you're all set up to go with Mac. Now you're going to see me use G++ most of the time in my lessons if I'm just running things on the terminal. And you're going to see on Macs that usually this just defaults to Clang here. So if you'd like to specifically use G++ for some reason, you can do so using the brew tool. So do brew, for instance, to see if you have it available. If you don't, it's just a quick install brew package manager, and you can grab the manager here, copy this line here to your clipboard, and just paste it in, and this will install brew. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear this, and again, just remind you, if you want to install GCC, you can search for it here. Do brew search, type in GCC and it'll show you all the available versions of GCC available. I'd recommend something like version 10 or beyond. So brew install GCC at 10 will do the trick. So let me go ahead and show you how to run a program on the command line with Clang++ uh, plus plus here. And to do so, we're going to need to write a little uh, hello world script here, just to have something interesting to run here just so you can see things all working at once and confirm again that you can compile your C++ programs. So let's go ahead and try something like this. Hello Mac. And I'll go ahead and include our IO stream editor, excuse me, our IO stream library, which we'll talk about this program and what exactly it's doing in a future lesson. I just want you to get set up here. So go ahead and try Clang++. Let's go ahead and see if that we have a modern version of C++. Usually I'm doing 17 these days. The source file, hello cpp, dash o for the output. And we'll have our program that we can run here. And we successfully see that you can run and compile Mac programs. Now very quickly, let me show you Xcode. If you go on to do more development at companies, for example, you might end up using an editor like this, for instance, Xcode. So let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project, Mac OS, command line tool, because we're just going to be doing things on the terminal for the most part. I'll hit next. Let's just try something like hello project, hello, or whatever your organization is, and be sure to change the language to C++. I'll hit next. Find a nice place to save it, like your desktop or wherever. Uh, if you have any errors here, you can fix them. I'm just going to cancel here. Double click on the main.cpp file and then try to run this program here. It's going to build the program, tell me that it succeeded, and hopefully run the program. So that should be it for us here. And we have the actual uh, build here. There it is, hello world. <laughs> and, and now we can uh, kind of move on. Let's go ahead and just make one change here. Um, just to make this hello Mac so that it matches what we previously had. And I'll go ahead and do save, or you can again hit save here after you make a change. And let's try to run again, which is going to do the actual compilation here and rebuilding of the program and then uh, running it here. So if you do make a mistake here, for instance, uh, and I'll save this again and continue, you'll get a build failed error and be able to check out your output and see what the uh, debug messages says. In fact, the IDE might do you, 
a decent job of also telling you within the editor here. Now, a final note is, again, you're going to see me do a lot of things on the terminal here, just using Vim, for instance, uh, VS Code, Sublime, Atom, those are all fine tools to use. I think it's just worthwhile knowing when using C++ how to do things on the command line, so most of my lessons you'll see me on Linux, Mac, or Windows using the command line. Anyways, folks, that's it here. All right, folks, so that's it. You should be ready to go. You've got all you need to run on a Mac now, and you're ready to continue on with C++. We'll see you in the next one.